Is the Praxis arc over? I don't think so, right? Because Headless and his new, uh, the, the new antagonist, right? I forgot his name, Marze or something, the blonde guy with the mask. They're like Celestial Host people? I don't know, but they're trying to break down the barriers. So either they're Celestial Host, you know, cult members that wants like the downfall of, you know, society as exists or something crazy is going on with there. They're still the monster. Right? That basically dug us all the way down, make that hole that we fell down into. We still have to beat that monster. And what else did we learn? Uh, Wignall? <laughs> Illusion magic basically always, all, like, it's not that he wasn't talented. It's like, we, he basically just needed, like, emotional support. Because I don't think anything really fundamentally changed between, like, last, last episode and the most recent episode, right? But, you know, Will was like, come on, believe in yourself, you can do it. And Wignall's like... I can do it and the illusion magic popped off. Everyone's doing pretty well. We just have to beat one more master, sorry, monster, and I think we should be out. Well, let's begin today's reaction. The 1 1000 rule? What? what? 1 to 1000 ratio. Got it. Monster to uh, person. So if you do a thousand on this, you know, like, what is that? 270,000 credits? Well, you know, it. it one credit for a monster means 1,000 credits, like, worth for a human. So, 270, like, add three more zeros, right? That's, like, kind of the scale that we're working with. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It, yeah, okay. So maybe we can't beat this monster at all. It is maybe stupid, right? Impossible. So the focus is escaping. But if we did take down a monster, you know, that uh, someone's worthy of 270 could take down, like, that would be a crazy feat if we actually did this. <laughs> Bro wanted to be a hero. Go on without me. I'll buy us some time. Tree magic. Oh shit! He just ripped that apart like paper mache. Evil Grand Duke. So, ugh, holy shit, how far does the tower, like, the dungeon go, right? Because, like, we thought up till 10, like, 10 was hard, right? They literally restrict up to, like, 7 to 10 or some shit. And then they, like, lift it just for praxis. And then we fell down below. And then this floor from like 11 to 15 is supposed to be next level. This shit's from 25, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can even order monsters like that? Stop crying, bro. Yeah. Team morale down. Clutch. Just fucking win. Or maybe hold out until Edward and Teacher shows up. What rank? Lord of Baron rank or higher. Damn, this different tier of monster. Lord of Baron rank. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Take out the there is no other option, bro. You wanted an answer? I came up with one. You're gonna complain regardless. Wignall will. Colette will. 
ウィルが一番ダンジョンに詳しいんだから逃げようとだけだ,だ,けだいやそこの落ちこぼれの言うことを聞くわけじゃないからな It's not like I'm accepting the plan cause I like him or anything それにしようリアナリアナ僕は彼に<笑>はは I know I know L was right it's like ew don't touch me right but he's like I've accepted this human, right? He, he is worthy to touch me and L, but this line is hilarious. Okay, friend of the elves. Liana's rational judgment. Damn. First name. Let's go. I guess they still need one opposing person so that not everyone is just glazing and just going on with like Will's plans. But bro, everyone accepted. Even Liana did. You're still saying this shit? I need you too. You're the key. I hope we use Julius as bait. We use it. I don't know. You're the key. We need to make him feel good. That only you can do this, bro. But we just use him as fucking life bait. Oh? Maybe secrets for more than kill magic? I thought he died there for a second. No, no, no. Ice, ice, ice. He's still chanting. He's still chanting. How? That's okay. Nice utility. Other clones can continue. But that's still an insane gamble. Cause like you're banking on the hope that evil like the Duke won't attack the real one by chance. But so you have to hope that like oh shit, oh shit, I gotta finish this incantation. I hope that you're not gonna hit the real me before I get there. Come on, bro, you're so talented, aren't you? Where's Liana at? Liana has a different role. But I'm sure we're just gonna create an opening. If the wings are impenetrable and it's, you know, acting as the armor, we distract it. Liana is clearly positioned somewhere else right now. I don't know what Yulius' magic is gonna be, but I feel like just distract, lift the wings up, then Liana go for the kill. <laughs> Surely that's not it. Surely that's not the extent of the plan. You don't expect me to believe that these icicle attacks are gonna fucking beat Duke right now, right? No way. Liana's gotta show up. Exactly. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. That's where you come in, Liana. The lightning animation, man. Ah, shit. So, like, Headless and his friend, they already buffed up this monster with auto bear. That's unfair. I thought we had it. I thought we had it. All right, it's despair time. 
まさかリモートサークルモンスターに外付けされたオートバリアあおキキベリアゲンレッツゴーパパスカゴン
they, they're about to die. You're crying over your fucking glasses? Obviously, there's more context that we know about the promised goggles, but to Shio and Hima's like, what? Look at his face. Admit it. Oh, there's the hit. This is actually exactly what Will needs. No, no, no. What Shion's doing right now, it's exactly it. Yo, step on his fucking glasses. Yo, where's, where's the rest of the promised goggles at? I want Sion to fucking stomp on it and like destroy the rest of it even more. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna. Enough. I got it. Thank you, Xion. I said one punch, not ten. Consensual domestic abuse. Right? Right? This is somehow, this is kind of kinky. <laughs> Considering their background and... Yo, what are we doing right now? <laughs> what, what the fuck are we doing right now, bro? <laughs> fuck, it shouldn't be this funny. Oh, he's back, let's go. Yeah, he likes it when you hit him, Shion. Mm, uh, Will was like harder. Come on, more. Oh, thank you, Shion. I'm good to go now. He is afraid. That's why he moves forward. It's gonna be that kind of thing. Sword. Melee range. It's more danger. Exactly. He goes in. Will is afraid of running away. Therefore, that is courage. Huh. Interesting. A person that's afraid of running away, could you consider that person a coward? But I understand the logic. <laughs> Shion, you too. Come on, get in there. He can't even fucking like cut that shit, right? With the sword, it's barely just like deflecting. もう怖い。もう怖い。だけど誰かを失ってしまうことの方がもっと怖い。速撃。もう危機は一回。速撃すれば即死。一攻撃はもう見た。ダウンロード。何？俺が。Bro, this is actually getting so hype. Holy shit, the, this whole sequence of events, the soundtrack playing right now, holy shit. Okay, we cut. So even if the wing is impenetrable, you can cut it. Xion. Xion? Wait, I don't know. Edward should show up too. Xion should do, probably do something too. I'm waiting on those. The Phoenix. Yeah. 
今こそ我が敵を焼き尽くせ見つくガーディアンを盾にして突撃をお前にできて Have you ever held a sword before? Do you know what it's like to fight in close range? There isn't anything you can do that I can't. My man going in melee range to prove a fucking point. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Edward should show up to clutch now. It's, it's seeming like pure despair right now because ap even after all that, he just says, fuck you, Edward. Edward. Yeah, he stopped the close range and he even stopped the triumphant soundtracks. That's like a, usually a bad, really bad thing. But they're, they're trying to really hype up the Duke, right? This is a being from the 25th floor. It's supposed to be this, like, unfathomable monster, right? 270,000 credits worth for a student to scale with this guy, right? So, I think it makes sense now. Edward. Julius? What? Title drop. Wistoria wand and sword. Oh, my. what does that mean? What does that mean? The Rosti figure out a way to combine a wand and a sword together? Is that what the implication here is? What's going on? This looks like Magia Vendor Elfie, right? With that drip. And then there's Child Elfie. Will's actual mom. This must be Will. Will's actual mom. And I'm not sure who... Like, this must be Will's mom, right? Or maybe someone close to Will. It, it, it's probably mom, but it can't be really confirmed just yet. This person, I am unsure. But Will is very important. Wand and sword. Combined. New weapon incoming? Combine it together? Like what? Is so, the ice was simply just a fragment shown to remind him of Elfie or some shit, and then say it's wind. I don't know, I thought that there was like new kind of weapon made to combine a wind and, like, sorry, a wand and a sword, but you just combine like a magic to the sword, like attack me with it, and then what? With Toria, but he's done this before, right? I mean, Will has cut magic with his sword before, but this time is different. This time, Shion uses flame. He like is now imbuing the sword with the fire magic. Beast. Yeah, flame sword. They're, it's together. Magic sword. Twenty fifty two. Did his eyes change? I don't. I don't know. It's just more red. I, did his eyes change? It's turned. It's turned red. It, so like, think of it like this. Will, base template with the sword, right? No elements, no nothing. He gets imbued with magic from his friends. And then obviously elemental fire sword. Fire sword, red eyes. If Julius used it, ice sword, 
blue eyes. Think things like that? Maybe the color is too much to read in. I don't know. My field of vision was red. I mean, I think they're trying to make a significant point with the eye colors, man. Maybe I'm crazy, but... So, like, he doesn't even... Like, like why the fuck would he even say Wistoria? Right? That makes no fucking sense where he just says Wistoria. But it's, it's almost like, as if, like, he was destined for this. He's, like, the chosen one, right? Before I knew it, I invoked its name. It was just natural. Bro, Shion will combo move Ignis Risa. You doing some Re Zero? Yo, they doing some Re Zero Fifteen shit right now. Let's play the credits. Let's play the fucking credits. He actually did something similar to Re Zero Fifteen. Damn. Damn. This is fucking peak fantasy right now, man. They did indeed cook. This is definitely the best episode of Historia so far. How long is the credits gonna go for, though? <laughs> Till the very end? I'm gonna just let it play through. Yeah, also, the credits are sideways rather than like vertically going down, which is kind of cool. What is that red purple thing? That color was changing, right? That's interesting. Hold up. Throughout the credits, that color was changing to suppose it's Wignall, Liana, Julius, different people. Or is it supposed to represent that Will is this thing, an empty canvas that can now be imbued with different elemental magic and therefore he is changing colors? I am not really sure, man. This episode, bro. That ending, bro. The transition of Ignis Wiss. Oh my god. Rolling the fucking credits again. Re Zero Season One Episode Fifteen. Ask in terms of like rolling the credits. I they're probably not the first one that's ever done it, but obviously it's like a very um impactful example that everyone is very familiar with. So it, this episode, bro, it's fucking. This episode's a minimum nine out of ten, right? Minimum nine. It can be argued way higher. This episode, the battle against the Grand Duke. First, we thought about just escaping because when you meet a Grand Duke, bro, you get the fuck out. This is a being from twenty fifth floor. 25th, we were shitting our pants because we accidentally got to 11th floor after, you know, we're only supposed to get to the 10th. This being was brought up through the gates, right? Through, you know, um, the people like Marze or Headless. And Will was pretty good. Everyone was a doomer. Everyone doesn't have the combat experience, right? There are a bunch of amateurs. Will has plenty of experience. He remains composed, you know, comes up with a plan and strategy, and everyone accepts except fucking Julius, but we tempt him with some secrets of the origin skill that, you know, he's kind of copying Elfie from. And then, the rest of it is just peak action. But the Duke is so strong. And then the goggles break, and then there's a BDSM moment with Shion and Will just beating his ass up, and he just loves getting hit. And now, and then the Shion coming back at the end was so hype, right? This last little fight where Colette obviously, you know, gives Will the weapon. But it's still not enough. Shion comes in, and it's still not enough. And it's like, damn, bro, at this point, what the fuck do we do? I thought that it was gonna be Edward that's gonna clutch. And how the fuck did Roasty show up? Like, this is not imagery, right? Like, th th this is not like some sort of like... Roasty was there in heart. No, was he actually fucking present? I I'm not really sure, but Roasty fucking throws an ice thing to Will. And Will's like, hmm, remembering all the memories, right? The distant fucking memory. So it does it mean that Rosti... Why would Rosti be the one that says it's wand and sword? Rosti knows some important shit, right? Because in the past, Will was a baby. And if I look at the seating, I'm not so convinced that the seating here... It's supposed to be a Magia Vendor's, like, throne title, but when I look at this chair, it does kind of remind me of, like, the big chairs that the Magia Vendors are sitting on. And then maybe it's Will's mom. Most likely, it, it maybe isn't. And we'll meet 
what does she's exactly say? It's 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 wand and sword, right? I don't know who this person on the right is. Maybe it's someone just that's running the fucking uh, orphanage. It seems to be another woman. There were some interesting frames leading up to it with Elfie, right? There's like an. I'm assuming this is current, you know, Magia vendor Elfie that's like somehow beaten up and just fucked up. And then we see child Elfie, and then we immediately go to, like, Will's mom. I don't know, this is some crazy shit, but seemingly Will is, like, a chosen one that's supposed to represent wand and sword. A way of, like, saving us from, like, the celestial host, and he just enacted Wistoria out of nowhere. It was, like, an instinctual thing, the key word that he said, right? It just felt right. Not an enchantment. The sword consumes the spell. His eyes seemingly also change his color associated with that flame element. Then he's in this next level zone. Everything is so just simple for him. He dodges everything. This strike just cuts him down the fucking middle. That's it, bro. With the transition to the credit that rolls horizontally, it's just fucking peak fucking Wistoria. I'm not completely sure what's going on with Rusty and the past, but it's seeming like Rusty knows a lot of fucking secrets. He's not just a random femboy for, you know, insert gay bait jokes. No, no, no. There's something more going on here with wand and sword. Why is Will the Chosen One? Only one way to find out, and that's to find out next episode and beyond. That's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.